Lansing took the first steps towards demolishing the Life O'Reilly trailer park today, more than two years after it was condemned. It's undergoing an environmental assessment now, a requirement before the homes can be torn down. They'll be surveying the homes to determine if there's anything dangerous inside of them that would cause public harm during the demolition. While city leaders are excited to be moving forward, they tell R. Ann Perrette they've got a long road ahead of them. More than 90 structures still cover the Life O'Reilly mobile home park. And before they're flattened, each one has to be inspected. Our plan is to work as many daily hours as we can get until uh, the job's completed. During the next four weeks, the environmental testing and consulting team is looking for asbestos, lead paint, and any other hazardous materials throughout the park. We're going to, have to consider each building individually and make sure that we, we write specific information for that particular structure, uh, just to have the best information possible so the city has that going forward. The city will take their report to court seeking a judge's approval to have another contractor remove the dangerous materials before all of the homes can be demolished. Once the demolition starts, it's, I think it's going to go very quickly. Yeah. I mean, we're not dealing with complicated structures here, but the process to get to that point, we have to make sure we dot every I and cross every T. Taking every precaution to not mess up a process that's already taken two years. Because the property owner has been derelict. I mean, the reality is the property owner has refused to act responsibly, putting the rest of the neighborhood in jeopardy financially uh, and even with things like vermin, uh, with, with who knows what is, is on the property. The mayor says the neglected property has attracted criminal behavior. We will be so much better off uh, when it's a blank slate. And when it's a blank slate, it can be marketed and it can be redeveloped. The day neighbors are looking forward to. It's time for a change for that end of the neighborhood. A nice little subdivision going there. You can put 20, 20 plus nice houses in there, nice circle drive, you know, and, and it'd be good for it. In Lansing and Perrette, Fox 47 News. City leaders are expecting some pushback from the property owner as the demolition process gets underway. The assessment is expected to take about four weeks. The city's next court date is in mid-September. The owner will be billed for the assessment, demolition, and eventual cleanup of this property. Bob Johnson tells us if the judge allows them to move forward with the demolition, the property should be cleared about two months later.